<laughs> Hello, welcome to Guided Meditation. So I'm Leah, most of you know me by now, and I know a, a bunch of you have been <coughs> coming to our weekly Guided Meditation, but I just wanted to give an overview of what we'll be doing tonight. And today we'll be doing a meditation called just basic breath awareness. So the idea in the practice today although it sounds very simple, just breath awareness. <laughs> That's your point of focus, is the breath, the way it naturally and organically flows in and out through the body. So, we'll go around the room just to introduce yourselves and let me know if you have any meditation experience or not. And then I'll guide you through the stages and steps as um, we progress through our time. So, if you don't mind, I'll start with you. Hi, I'm JJ. And, uh, yes, I'm <laughs> Tell me, yeah, I, you know, I have some experience. You're a part of our group. Hello. Hi, I'm Edna. I've been here a while. Okay. <laughs> I like that view over there, Edna. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Lara, and I have a little bit of meditation. Great. Thanks. I'm Sarah, and I have uh, some practice. I'm Heather, and I have limited practice. Okay. I'm Jody and I try to do this. <laughs> try our best, that's all we can ask, right? Hello. Hello. Nicole and I would say absolutely none. Okay. Well, we're about to change that. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Bonnie and yes I have. Hi, I'm Fred. I have a little bit of meditation. I need to work on getting my own practice down mm -hmm. better. Yeah. So this is a good start. So the idea is that each week on Wednesday night we come together and we do a particular style of guided meditation so that you can practice it throughout the week on your own. Maybe you journal about your experience. Um, but the key is practice. The key is to dedicate time, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. Trying to do it at the same time of day is best. And set a space where you can create maybe a small altar or just just a space that you can call your meditation space. Um, so you can set aside all the list of things to do, put away your phone unless, of course, that is what your timer is on, and just really tune in. I say set it and forget it, so you set a timer. Maybe you start with five minutes each day and work your way up. Um, and set the timer, put it aside, and not worry about the time. Some days the five minutes will seem like 10, ten or 20, and some days the five minutes will seem like a minute, like, wow, that was quick. Either way, each day will be a little bit of a new experience for you, but just arrive, show up, come to your seat, and we'll start with the basic breath awareness today. So find a comfy seat. Your options are to sit with your ankles crossed, sitting in Sukhasana, a nice easy seat. And some of you might prefer to sit in Virasana, which is kneeling, and you could sit up on the edge of a bolster or a block with your heels by the sides of your hips, resting your palms down in your lap. I will also suggest if you feel a little tired, since it is the evening, and you need a little help staying awake during your meditation practice, it's a nice idea to rest your dominant hand on the top of the other. So just your, your hands are slightly above your waist, so that if you do nod off, your hands would fall into the lap, and that would be a reminder, oh, because the idea of meditation is a awakened energy and this mudra really does help you stay focused. So keeping the thumb, the tips of your thumbs connected and the tips of your fingers right where the fingers and the um, ball of your hand But otherwise palms can turn down. Your arms are just along the sides of your ribs, parallel. Little space under the armpits so that you feel a little breath. There. Good. And taking your seat, start by bringing your awareness to the sits bones. Rooting down. Let them sink. Soften through your hips, your thighs. Trying to maintain an upright posture. Soft through the belly. Little gentle lift in the chest. Relax your shoulders down the length of your spine. Feel a little length in the neck. 
as you rise through the crown of your head, remain rooted through the sit bones. Now bring your awareness to the tips of your nose. Notice the breath coming and going here. It's natural once you bring your awareness to the breath that you want to deepen it or move it in a particular way. But just for now, take the seat of the observer. Just feel the breath come and go naturally. Now bring your awareness to the tops of your chest. Feel how the breath moves the chest on the inhale and the exhale. Good, and now draw your awareness to your belly, a little bit below the belly button. Feel the breath here. Now choosing one of these three locations where you connect with the flow of your breath the most. The tips of your nose, the tops of your chest, or the belly. And then just set the mind's attention to this area and the flow of your breath here. The practice is to watch the breath come and go to acknowledge if and when your mind wanders away from the practice so that you could gently guide your mind's attention back to the breath. And this cycle will repeat itself. You'll notice that you're, you've wandered maybe to a thought or a list of things to do, maybe a project. So you can acknowledge the thought. You can even touch the thought. But then you let it go and come back to the breath coming and going through the tips of your nose. And we'll sit like this. helps to keep your mind's focus on the breath in the same area that you began. Be patient. Allow your inner voice to be kind and forgiving. And just keep coming back to the breath.
like to offer the use of repeating the word inhale as you feel the breath come in the body. And then repeating the word exhale as the breath releases. There's added layers just to help keep the mind focused on the breath coming and going. So inhale and exhale.
begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to uncross your legs and bring your feet flat in front of you. Knees are bent, grab a hold of your knees with your hands and just lift the chest and a little stretch in your spine. And then one leg at a time, begin to extend your legs forward. Maybe you rub your knees, thanking them for supporting the seated posture. The feeling in your toes will come back eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any um, comments or questions in the group? No, everyone did that really well. <laughs> any inner struggles, any questions about the um, posture itself? No? I had inner struggle like, with my body. I felt like I was trying to keep it, like I was, you said to relax, and I, was, I, felt, I wasn't relaxed at first, and then I was feeling like pain, you know? I was like, oh God, why my, my neck was starting to hurt, because I was not really relaxed. I was trying to stay so still, I think, that yeah. it was like working against me. So then I had to do some adjusting, and then I fell out of the, you know, concentration. So I had to take me a little bit to get back in. And that all sounds very familiar to everyone in the room. I, I'm certain that everyone was experiencing the same thing. This is the meditation practice. The practice is that the mind interferes with your focus, and you, so, or the body interferes with your mind's focus, and your mind is going to go to that area of the body that you're feeling discomfort. And then you're going to build, like, oh, how long am I going to sit here? I can't feel my right foot. <laughs> well, now I can't feel my right leg. And then, so now you've gotten the breath. That's okay. It's normal. But the idea is that once you realize that your thought is on a physical part of your body or outside of this room, you bring it back. You guide it. So it's like taking the hand of a child and just directing them back on path. But just as kind as you would want to treat a child, you want to treat yourself, right? So there's no judgment. The voice inside shouldn't be like, oh, I lost it again, you know? It, your mind, it's doing what it does. It's, it's supposed to think. It's supposed to plan. It's supposed to um, fix things. So it makes sense that the mind is going to wander off. So you just kind of guide it back. The physical part of the seat, where you're feeling some discomfort in the lower back and the hips or in the knees, that's practice. The more that you come to the mat to take your seat and to meditate, the more comfortable you will be with doing it. Um, also, eventually, there will be a, a feeling of no sensation in the physical body. Ultimately, that will happen. But again, it comes with time and practice. And then just keep bringing it back. doesn't matter how many times you bring it back. Just, just acknowledging, oh, I'm off the path. Come on back. And then set your mind back on it. Focus. Anyone else? I have a little bit of a hard time because I'm practicing a bunch of different things with meditation. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about like the whole basic part of this. So I started like doing all these different things and couldn't find like where I wanted to breathe, my nose, my chest. And then finally I was just remembered like just go back to the basics. Yeah. And then it was really cool. I was like kept breathing into my nose and I would when I would inhale, I would go like deeper into my third eye chakra, and then when I would exhale, I would ex I would like expand it. Right. And then as soon as the heart the alarm went off, I like opened my eyes real quick because I was like, are my feet still there? <laughs> that they were gone. Yeah, I didn't nice. feel them, but that's fantastic. Yeah. Sometimes basics are. Uh, Sometimes basics are extremely hard, <laughs> and then sometimes it's always, I think it's always a good idea to go back to basics, you know, even when you feel that you are an advanced yogi in, in meditation practice, it's good to go back to basics. I will say, because you mentioned it, you do not want to um, try ten different techniques in one sit or one seated um, practice. So choose your practice and stick with it. That's why I say in the beginning of the week, which is Wednesday for our meditation week, throughout the week you continue to, to practice this particular um, practice. If you're coming because you want to be part of a guided meditation and just be with a group of meditators and you have your own method, that's okay. You don't have to follow the instructions if you know what works for you. But I wouldn't want you to um, try 
a couple of different techniques in one sit down. Okay. That's good to know because with the Kundalini background, I mean, it's like I'm concentrating on my third eye. Yeah. The mantra is Sadhana, which is truth in your name. Uh -huh. Now I'm just naming sight is truth. Okay. And I always do that. Yeah. And, and you can absolutely do that. So when I was saying when you breathe in, say inhale, when you breathe out, say exhale, um, yours would be Sadhana. Um, yeah. There's many, and we will visit them. But for today, it was very basic, and I wanted to keep it basic. Um, you could layer on in that way, because that was the method that we were practicing today. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us all tonight. Bring your hands together at your heart. Sit up nice and tall. And just an internal om. So take a deep breath in and hear the sound of om reside within you. Namaste.